the time. Okay, well, speaking of tight, someone is tight over there on the post uh, set. Uh, the executive producer uh, and director, Janet Mock, gave a fiery speech uh, last week's post red carpet premiere in New York City. She chose that time to make this speech. She claimed that the FX show has been underpaying her. She said, why am I only making $40,000 an episode? She also shouted, F Hollywood. They do, the, the, they do this to make you feel uncomfortable? Um, it should. It should make you feel, it should make you shake in your, sorry, I'm trying not to cuss. There's a lot of F-bombs in this right here, okay? Uh, I wish I could just swear. Okay, she said F Hollywood. They do this to make you feel uncomfortable. It should, uh, it, may, it should make you shake in your mother effing boots. This is speaking truth, and this is what Pose is. During the rant, she also said uh, she cheated on her boyfriend, uh, Pose actor Angel Bismarck Curiel. Wow, she was kind of going in. What do you think about her decision to share this and be frustrated. And what about what do you think about her making forty thousand dollars an episode as an executive producer of a really hot show? Well, we know about a rant, and we know sometimes there's something <laughs> that makes you just go black. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I I don't know where that came from. How you talk about your finances and then cheating? I don't know. I think that's <laughs> right. <laughs> that mean, you know yeah. what I mean? But here's the thing: How long has she been around? Okay. Been, you, already know, you, already know, you y'all already know what Vivica gonna tell you. She's okay, gonna be like, baby. It's, kind of they do. it's like, you know, a lot of people ain't even making that a year. You yes. know what I mean? Especially in a pandemic and how you know things has been going out. So I, I get that, you know, you want to look at your counters and say, they making this and I'm only making whatever. You know, I don't know the story of who else is making how much on her set that she's comparing herself to. Um, but again, how long has that other person been around and how long you've been around and who is your agent and what is your contribution? And there's a lot that goes into that really. And why was that everyone else's fault at that event that they've got to hear all of your damn dirty laundry? You, this is a celebration. Now, how soon do you think you're going to be invited back to the party, Janet? Most likely you're not. You know what I mean? Because everybody's going to remember. Like, did y'all remember Janet Lair? I know how much she made. $40,000 wasn't enough for Janet. And she cheated on a man. I mean, or whomever, her partner. I mean, Janet. Come on, you guys. It, it's also a mistake because... Everything as far as I'm concerned. It's also a mistake because I'd rather people think I'm making more. So my next job, I could just hit them over the head. But on my last job, I was making a buck 15. So you have to pay me right. a new job. <laughs> Just That's like, what I would have done. They do keep tabs on that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. Do, so okay, well, yeah, let me ask you guys this. You guys have produced, um, you know, things before. Is that an appropriate amount for a show like Pose? Or is it she how so is. And, and, and what they're selling and how much money, the budget and all of that. It right. depends on a whole lot of things. Yeah. You know, well. you just... I, I don't know if I would have been out there on the, you know, then that's when you have to figure to go back and get incentives. Okay. That if your agent has negotiated a contract for you, you, that's what you get, sweetheart, you sign that contract. So what you try to do is then you try to get incentives and either try to figure out a back end deal or when you get picked up again, how to negotiate your deal a little bit sweeter. You know, and is that the reason why the show isn't coming back for all the drama that's going on inside no. the room. Cause it was a good it's, show, honey. I loved it. I was here for it. The whole, the whole thing, especially when they was just doing their, you know, uh, doing the um, what's the events? The balls. Yes. Uh, oh, you me. love those kind of shows, Lisa. Yes. Ray. You do. That's your thing. Now, outfits and makeup, all kind of stuff. It's like I've been doing it since high school. <laughs> so I, I guess you. Think, go ahead. I'm I just, sorry. I just, you know. You just have to learn, um, you know, Uma, Thur Uma Thurman told me something when I was doing Kill Bill and I wanted to go on a rant toward Quentin Tarantino one day because I was mad because he wasn't tooting my horn the way I thought I had been stretching and kicking and, and, and killing myself. And she just kindly pulled me to the side. She's very ladylike with it. And she said, hey, you have to learn to be more manipulative. You can get whatever you want, but there is a time and place for everything. He can fire you. And he can ruin your name. Don't do that anymore. And I appreciated her as a woman. Because at first I was kind of like, what you mean? I don't be needing him. But she's like, girl, like, are you out your mind? Okay. And I had to step back and check myself. Good for and you. And not be team too much. You know, mm -hmm. and that's what that is. That's when you you kind of like new booty and you, you forget that, you know, time and place for everything and other people watching you. Yes. 
now you that see one day you may did. hire you or fire you. You see how you just showed an instance where you didn't do something that might have been favorable. Then, then you talked about this. That's a teachable moment. Now, if I'm yes. looking at you, I'm going to go, okay, yeah, because see, Viv, because she's been through it. So now I understand why and what she's saying. So now I can, I'm going to be more receptive to it. You see what I'm saying? Because you And all teachings come from experience. Through. When you go through it, you like, oh, I know how I feel. I can speak on it now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That, so, that's been, I think that's, I just that's hope been. that someone else is in line waiting to give her forty thousand dollars per episode to be a producer. Stay tuned. And what I can mean, you how you actually do, because a lot of times EP is sometimes a vanity credit. So is it really exactly one agreed to production booking? Like, are you really getting pulling up your sleeves, like doing the work, set, turning up like budgets? Like, are you allocating budgets and things of that nature? Because if you do a net. Then okay, you might be on to something, but or as you said, Selena, or credit. is it a vanity credit? Because there's been a yeah. lot of times I've done movies and the credit list rolls up. I'm like, where are the people at? I, I y'all see them? Okay. Right. What you got? Right. What else we got, honey? I was just thinking about the low budget bullshit I did. I'll gladly take four forty thousand dollars. I'll take ten. So, anyways, <laughs> moving on. Speed of moving on. Someone who cannot see to move on is that Chloe Kardashian. There's more.